Hey, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on what we're up to at GW Active, at Run Through, and all the different businesses that we're connected with over the last few weeks and months. We've been working on a new project, it's called the Run Through Foundation, and what we're doing with that is having a free event. So we've chosen Warrington, which is my business partner Ben Green's hometown. And what we're doing there is offering a free event. It's a 5K, 10K, half marathon. So it's a ballot process, people are applying for it. We've already had up to like 5,000 people apply for the event itself. So. It's going to be good. I think on the day we're hoping for around about 6,000 people. So it's a substantial event and it's something really exciting. It's never been done before. It's a world first. We've also had loads of new events come into place after we we took on the assets of an existing business, which was uh, AAT Events and the race organizer. They went uh, they went bust, unfortunately. And events like the Surrey Half Marathon, Guildford 10K, Warwick Half Marathon, Rugby Half Marathon, these kind of races we want to put on and try and host again. So we've put those in place and we've got them open for next year. So lots of new events happening around the south of England and the Midlands. And also we're working on plenty of events in the north of England as well. So some exciting things happening at the agency and with Run Through. Loads of new staff members joined us as well in different areas of the business. Um, we're building out our marketing team a bit more from our Loughborough office, which is something I'm working on personally, trying to make sure we have enough staff to deliver the marketing for those events. And then also myself, I'm getting out most weekends, so I'm thinking every weekend for the last few to run a race or help out at an event as well. So we're working Monday to Friday to help put these events on and organize things and all the staff to be able to do that. And then the weekends we're actually out delivering these events and, and doing them. And I, as you guys know from seeing me over the years, I, this is something I love, it's something I'm passionate about. If I wasn't doing this, I'd actually be at the events myself, just running them and competing. So for me, it's like the perfect lifestyle. Um, I spend a lot of time driving up and down the motorway from uh, the north to the south, me personally. So uh, we're currently based ourselves in Loughborough, which is a, a great spot because it's like basically two and a half hours from everything Loughborough, which is really easy and convenient. My personal running as well and what I've been getting up to, I've started to get myself back a bit fitter again. So I've started to get to up to like 20 to 30 miles a week, which isn't much, but I'm chucking in a couple of strengthening sessions as well. So circuits, that sort of stuff. And I think that's really helping get my strength up. And I actually, actually won the Presswold Hall Leicestershire 10 mile race the other weekend. It wasn't a fantastic time compared to like really fast elite athletes, but 67 minutes and I wasn't really thinking about running a quick time there, but I got out and did it. So that was really cool. Uh, and then loads of cool stuff happening. Obviously the new year is happening. And before the new year, we, we often get new partners come in or we renew old partners in terms of like sponsors and stuff for the event. So working on some current deals with existing partners and looking at chatting to new ones out there as well. So I'm currently heading to London for some meetings tomorrow to uh, have a chat with some of those people and work out where we go with things. Also good to catch up with our staff down there and our operations team, some really cool people. Uh, basically like going to chat to friends, which is great. Uh, so yeah, there's some exciting stuff happening. And then over the next month, so the next few weeks, so December time, end of November, we've got the Alton Towers race this weekend. So a large event at Alton Towers, fantastic location. Really cool, like around about 10,000 people are gonna be there over the weekend. And we rented out the whole theme park. It's, it's, it's a really, really unique event. Uh, so there's no queues on the rides essentially, and you can turn up. And normally the, the theme park has between say, 15 and 20,000 people come every day whereas we're doing it and it's literally just going to have 10,000 or well, 5,000 people each day so you can literally just walk on the rides so it's really unique second year of doing it so excited about it we've even got some new uh, event infrastructure as the uh, the venue have allowed us to repurpose some of the stuff they use for their firework display the week after which is this next weekend so it's going to be fantastic with the cool stage and all that sort of thing and then over the rest of November, we've got the Palace 10K, we've got the uh, Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park Half Marathon, so the London Half Marathon, londonhalf.com, fantastic event at Olympic Park. And we've got loads of other smaller events that are happening. And then in December time, we've got the Southampton 10K starting at Southampton FC, so a really cool location. We've also got the Blackburn 10K as well, which is my favorite because I'm from Blackburn and it's my favorite football club, Blackburn Rovers. Uh, so I got a little, personal connection to that and then we've also got events at Weybridge so a new event near actually near our offices in the south of England so it's actually like like two miles from our office which is fantastic that's a new event we've taken on uh, and then we've got loads of other cool Christmas events got a new Santa t-shirts coming out loads of stuff with that 
So, um, and then we're looking forward to the new year and kick, kick starts in January, February with some cool new events. And then we'll update you on those over the next month or so.